Okay, we are told that the integral from 0 to 5 of f of x is 5. We don't, we don't know what f of x is, but we know that the value of the definite integral from 0 to 5 is 5, and then we know the definite integral from 0 to 5 of g of x is 12. So we're going to use the properties that we just reviewed there um, to compute the definite integral from 0 to 5 of f of x plus g of x. Well, we're just adding the functions, so that means we can just add their integrals so this is going to be 17, okay? Um, we can do linear combinations of that, okay? The next example there is combining the idea of the constants and putting the two functions together. So we've got 2 times 5 minus 1 third times 12. So that would give us 10 minus 4, which is 6. Okay, again, we don't know anything about f of x or g of x except for the value of this single definite integral, but we're able to compute these. Okay, what if they ask us about the integral from 5 to 0 of g of x? All it does is change the sign. So that is negative 12 instead of positive 12. Now, they also like to throw these in there. The integral from 0 to 5 of f of x minus x. Be careful with this. Okay? Split this up. This is the integral from 0 to 5 of f of x dx minus the integral from 0 to 5 of x dx. So part of it we're going to get just from our given information. That first part is equal to 5. The second part We've got to calculate. We actually have to anti-differentiate x. So we've got minus, I'm going to put a set parentheses because it's following the minus sign, x squared over 2, that's from 0 to 5. So we've got 5 squared, which is 25, which is not evenly divisible by 2, and then we're subtracting what we get when we plug in 0, and when you square 0 and divide it by 2, you still get 0. So... Okay, so 5 minus 25 over 2 is negative 15 over 2. Yeah, 10 minus 25, negative 15. Okay, so you can combine these rules with just regular integration that we already know. Okay, uh, now this last one, the integral from 0 to 5 of g of x times f of x dx. Now, I know it's really, really tempting to say that that answer is 60. It is not, okay? We do not have a product rule when it comes to integrals. So, we do not have enough information to answer this question. Now, do I really think that they're going to waste a problem on the AP exam on not having enough information? I seriously doubt it but it is a good opportunity to remind you there's not a product rule. Now, if we knew what g of x was and f of x were, then we could multiply them and then integrate, um, but we don't, so we cannot just say that's 5 times 12. What about on your question? Do you have that could be possible to for not enough information to get an answer, yes. Okay. Um, let's look at another one because there were still a few of those rules that we didn't use. So let's look at the integral 0 to 1 of f of x is 1, 0 to 2 is 4, and 1 to 4 is 7. So if they ask us for the integral from 0 to 4 of this function, well, I'm going to look at the fact that this first one goes from 0 to 1, and then the second one goes from 1 to 4. So if I put those together, that's going to give me from 0 to 4. So 1 plus 7 equals 8, which would be the value of the definite interval. Now, the next one, from 1 to 2. All right. So... I don't know, I kind of need a little bit of a visual for this one. So I've got 0, 1, and 2. I know from 0 to 1, it's 1. From 0 to 2, it is 4. So what does that mean it is from 1 to 2? 3. Okay, so 
it's not really one of the rules we just looked at. It's kind of a manipulation of those rules. But if you know a longer interval and you know a portion of it, then you can subtract to get another product. Okay, so the integral from 4 to 1, we're just flipping the limits on that last one, so that would be negative 7. Anytime you invert those limits, you're just going to change the sign. Okay, from 2 to 4. Well, this is similar to the one right above it. We know, let's see here, we know from 0 to 2 is 4. And we found out that from 0 to 4, that was 8. We figured that out in the first part. So from 2 to 4, it's 4. Alright, so here's what I need you to do.